Hello guys, this is Pavel Skorup from Laravel Daily Team and YouTube channel Laravel Business. Today I want to quickly talk about topic of open source software and how can you actually earn from open source projects. Because uh, a lot of people are mixing open source with free software. That's what I'm showing you now, article on Forbes, open software is not actually free. So if you have an open source project, Laravel package or something like that, how can you actually earn money from that? It is possible and there are multiple ways, so I will tell you how. Uh, number one and probably the most uh, obvious thing is donations. So here I have an example of Vue.js, of successful project which lives uh, actually on donations. Uh, the author, uh, Evan Vue, uh, he actually tweeted recently, well not recently, half a year ago almost, that he's officially receiving enough support to sustain full-time development. So currently on Patreon platform, uh, he receives $9,000 per month, which is enough to live even in US. But these, the problem is that these projects are really minority. If you just put donation link on your website or your GitHub account, you probably will receive like really low amount or even zero, unless you are like really popular. Uh, here, the example of Vue.js, it's a really popular framework, so to sustain your life on donations, you have to like have millions of followers all over the world, and then you probably will earn enough. So I wouldn't advise donation as primary source of income for, uh, for the package or for your open source project. Now, way number two to earn money from open source, open source project. It's probably the most popular and uh, the, le the least obvious is actually use your package for client work. So for example, uh, I have a page for a company called Spati, it's in Belgium, and they have really like plenty of packages for Laravel and not only Laravel. I think it's like 80 or even 100 by now. I've made an interview with uh, Freck van Herten uh, recently. So this is their kind of model. Uh, they uh, release packages and then they use their packages for, for the client work. Uh, this way they save time and probably earn more money. Uh, so there are kind of two ways to, um, to provide that service. As, uh, one is to have many packages and just with every project release a package which, would, uh, which you can reuse in the next projects. Or have a niche of uh, kind of a package, one package or several packages from the same family. And that's our way, how we chose to, uh, to, to live basically. We have our package called Quick Admin and uh, a lot of our clients are actually admin panel based projects like CRMs, uh, like uh, just general data management, internal software of companies and stuff like that. And our quick admin helps a lot with just generating basic CRUDs, menu items, roles permissions and stuff like that. So uh, this way we're sustaining our package and now we're, we've created a premium version online generator, but that's one of the ways to actually earn money from open source. So the open source package is free, but we are earning money from saving time on client projects. Uh, number three, third way to earn from open source is to have a premium version of your package. Here's an example. A company called Cartelist, which was really popular uh, in the days of Laravel 4. Not sure if you've ever used a package called Sentry, which was before any roles and permissions uh, function in Laravel. In Laravel 4, Sentry was probably the most popular package for roles, permissions and, and stuff like that. And they have a package list, a lot of packages in one kind of a bundle. Uh, actually, let's go to their homepage again. So for $75, they have yeah, 60 packages. Uh, browse the arsenal, let's browse it. So yeah, a lot of it, like same model actually as Spati before, but they're actually selling that, they're selling the access to, to the packages for $75 per three months, I guess. Um, yeah, no mind. Uh, so that's one way of uh, pricing the open source. 
Uh, another way is to have uh, just a price on your on your page. Here we have uh, Laravel Backpack, pretty popular package these days, quite new but already uh, got some traction. So here's the pricing page. You can actually use it for free for, for your personal projects, but if you want to have like profit from that, you, you have to pay $19 per project. I'm not sure how they manage that, uh, manage cheaters, but yeah, here's the official pricing. So you can actually just charge for, the, for your package. And then third way is to uh, to let others charge for you. So uh, sites like Code Canyon or like for uh, WordPress themes, there's Theme Forest. There are uh, probably a lot of a lot more uh, sites like that, but Code Canyon is the most popular, I guess. So you can put uh, put up your script there or package. Put up a price of like $28, like in this case, or $49, or whatever you want, and then sell there. But uh, beware that you will actually give a lot of money to the to the vendor, to Code Canyon. So you will actually get like half of that price, if, if that. Uh, and the problem here is that in Code Canyon, from what I've read, uh, reviews and people that are actually putting packages here, uh, you have to put a lot of time into support into documentation, into actually preparing the package in their way by Code Canyon rules and their documentations. And uh, it takes really a lot of time to get sales. So in this case, for example, for Laravel Crowd package, there are a thousand sales, over a thousand sales, but there are 900 comments and people are requesting support, requesting uh, new features, uh, blaming you for you not having something and so you, you have to spend a lot of time just on maintaining the package on Code Canyon platform or whatever platform it is. So keep in mind that it's not that easy to sell. Uh, so yeah, uh, another way of earning from open source is to actually have a price for open source. Uh, this way you can have free version for free on GitHub, but premium version uh, on whatever platform you want, whether it's your website or Code Canyon. And then probably uh, two, two more ways. Uh, way number four to earn from, uh, from open source is to build projects on open source and then sell them. Uh, the most obvious example I found is Laravel Spark. So Taylor Rodwell created Laravel, which is available for free, which is open source and awesome. But then he created Laravel Spark on top of Laravel and, and he sells that for 99 or 299. Uh, dollars, and that's a viable business model. From what I've I've, uh, I've talked to him on uh, during Laracon EU, he told that he's happy with numbers, with downloads, with purchases. So that's one way of uh, of actually uh, building projects on top of your package. He's probably using that himself for for his projects more and more, and also he's selling that for money. So build projects on top of your package is another way of, uh, of earning from open source. And the final thing is just to do open source uh, and get hired. You, just, you can just put up packages, open source code and uh, whatever you want on GitHub. And then that earns you a lot of, a lot of karma points or <laughs> victory points uh, in terms of looking for a job or for freelance work. So here I have random full stack developer job position and at the bottom we have please provide your GitHub username and some other like Stack Overflow or blog post or whatever, but GitHub username. And there are a lot of uh, articles uh, and a lot of, a lot of various material that proves that GitHub account is actually kind of a resume, kind of a CV of a developer if you contributed to open source projects or have your own open source projects you're way ahead of the competition in terms of landing the job so here's another random article so like attracting employers via github or like another article like that, 20 things you must do to land a junior web developer job and one of those 12 must do's is put your code on github 
So yeah, here are the things how you can earn money from open source projects. I will repeat them. First is donations, but I wouldn't advise that. Second is uh, earn money from uh, actually using the packages for client work. I would advise that. That actually works. Uh, number three is to have a premium version of your package on your website or on sites like Card Canyon. Number four is build projects on top of your open source pro open source package and sell those. And number five is just do open source, have fun with that, and get hired. Hope that helps and uh, subscribe to to our YouTube channel Aravel Business and see you in the next episode.